Hello friends, this video on respiration in organisms part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We have been talking about the respiratory system of only human beings. Now, respiration is a process which takes place not only in human beings but in all other animals as well as plants. So let us spend some time trying to understand how respiration takes place in different other organisms. So respiration is a process which is common to both plants as well as animals but it happens in a little different way in case of plants. But in animals the basic concept remains the same just that based upon different structures of different animals different specialized organs are present for respiration. For example in human beings we have lungs which are like the primary organ for respiration and then you have other um, respiratory organs like nostrils, nasal cavity, yeah, pharynx etc. Similarly in case of other animals you might have different organs but yes more or less the process of respiration will remain the same. So respiration is a process common to both plants and animals. So let us look at respiration in some aquatic animals. So one excellent example of aquatic animals could be fishes. So fishes they stay in water so they actually need to breathe in oxygen which is present in dissolved form in water. So water contains oxygen. So basically they need to take in water and then from that water they have to selectively choose, choose the oxygen. So let's see how do fishes do that. Now it has been observed that the rate of breathing of aquatic animals is higher than the terrestrial ones. Terrestrial animals are those which live on land. For example human beings are terrestrial animals. The aquatic animals those which live in water. So in case of such animals their rate of breathing is faster. Now can you guess why is their rate of breathing faster? That is because the amount of oxygen which is present in the air. The percentage of oxygen is air. In air is much more than the percentage of oxygen which is present in water. So since le very less amount of oxygen is present in water. So in order to get sufficient oxygen you really need to breathe faster. So that you can inhale more number of times to take in more amount of oxygen. So that is why aquatic animals have faster breathing rate. Now what are the specialized organs that they have for respiration? So fishes have gills which helps in absorption of oxygen. This is interesting and important as well. Now they do not have lungs like we human beings have. Instead they have gills. So what do these gills do and why, do they, why don't they have lungs? That's because you see uh, when you look at the structure of lungs it is only capable of taking in air. So if oxygen is present in the air, if an organism is taking in oxygen from surrounding air then lungs are a good choice. But in this case the fishes they live in water so they are not breathing in air they are actually taking up water. So that is why they have these specialized organs called gills. So these gills are specialized organs, they are feathery organs. So when you look at their appearance, so it is present somewhere here, you can see gills. So they look like feathers, but they are very well connected to the blood vessels. In fact, they are full of blood vessels. So that is why the exchange of gases actually take place at the gills. See, wherever gaseous exchange has to take place, blood vessels has to be present there. Because blood is actually going to carry that oxygen to different parts of the body. In human beings, where did that exchange of gas take place? It took place inside the lungs in alveoli because the walls of the alveoli had very well connected uh, capillaries or blood vessels. Similarly, in this case, these gills have a lot of blood vessels. So they are well supplied with blood vessels, which in turn helps in exchange of gases. So let us look at the structure of gills. So you see here, this is how the gills look like. So you have gill filaments here and you have these. These are called gill arcs and these are the gill breakers. So we are not getting into the detail of the structure of gill but this is how the gills look like. So whenever they, I mean they, you, if you observe the movement of a fish you'll see there this part it, it continuously keeps moving. It continuously keeps uh, making uh, a kind of movement kind of vibrating. 
and that's how it takes in uh, water and then the oxygen which is present dissolved in water that exchange of oxygen takes place in the gills so it takes water into its mouth force forces the water through the gill passages so you see the passages between the gills the water is forced through these passages now as water passes through these thin walls of the gills the dissolved oxygen moves into the blood vessels and travels to different cells of the body of the fish so that's how uh, the fishes undergo respiration so that's how they breathe in oxygen Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.